What's up guys? I'm back. Shit, this always gets awkward. Cause I don't know what to say. Uh anyway look, King Anthony here. Model celebrity trainer. If you guys already knew that. I don't know what that arm movement was, but forget it. Look guys, there's this question I get asked a lot, and it's usually by skinny females, you know? People that are naturally skinny that can't gain weight easily. And they always ask me, what are the best workouts? What's the best meal plan they should follow to gain weight? Um, guys, for the booty, right? You always have to do hip thrust. It doesn't matter if it's regular hip thrust, single leg hip thrust, elevated hip thrust, Smith machine hip thrust, any type of hip thrust, do it, okay? That's gonna get the booty popping. It's gonna grow the booty. But you can't just do hip thrust to get a nice proportionate round booty. There's this workout muscle, there's this muscle that most people neglect to get that round booty and you're gonna, they'll notice it because they have like a dip on their hip, right? And it's because they don't do their hip abductions. They don't do hip abductors. Hip abduction is when you're pretty much, if you're standing straight and you make your leg go straight out. You've seen workouts like that, right? Those are really key to getting a round booty. And I post a lot of hip abduction workouts, booty rounding workouts on my Twitter, Instagram, on Snapchat. I post a lot because I notice not many people do those type of workouts. Um, a lot of people do workouts that grow the booty, like hip thrust, but they don't do a lot of hip abduction workouts. And that's why I post those workouts, you know? I wanna help you guys out. I'm, I'm trying to see some big booties too, you know? It's not just for you females. Us men, we love looking at that. Anyway, look, that's not the point. I'm getting off topic. Ah, oh, this always happens. I gotta stop. I have to find a way, I need help. Anyway, moving on to the meal plan. Um. Okay, there's no specific foods, but there's specific macros you need to follow. You need to eat enough protein, enough carbs to grow your booty, to grow your legs. You know, you have to be in a calorie... Oh, I can't find the word. I can't believe I almost forgot the word. Calorie surplus. It means you're eating more calories than your body burns, right? And for naturally really skinny people, that means they have to eat a lot more because their metabolism is so high, that's why they're so skinny because they can't eat like a normal person. They have to eat more. And people hate those people because all those people that eat fast food and they don't gain any weight. I hate those people. I really do. Just kidding, it's all jealousy. Okay, look, you have to eat enough protein and usually for people that work out, it's like one gram of protein per body weight, 1.2. So one to 1.2. So if you're 100 pounds, you're gonna eat 100 to 120 grams of, of protein. You know, it's different than someone that's normal that doesn't work out. They eat 0.8, per, 0.8 grams per body weight. Um, the reason you have to eat more is because you're, you're doing more. Your body demands more, your muscles demand more, especially if you want, you want them to grow. And if you're not doing that, you're gonna see like a plateau. Your body's not gonna change. You're gonna be at the gym constantly, but your body's not gonna change. So you have to make sure your meals, your calories are on point also, guys. Oh, and I think I forgot about the leg, the leg growing workouts. I only mentioned the butt. Look, guys, um, workouts to grow the thighs, the legs, you know? Squats are really good, lunges are good. Lunges, to me, are, are better, they're safer. Um, you feel them a lot more on the booty also, so if you're trying to grow the legs and the booty, lunges are a lot better than squats, in my opinion. Even though squats, you, you, get, you work more muscles out, because you have to work out your core, like your lower back, a little bit your like your stability muscles. Lunges are a lot better. You're gonna feel a lot more and they're safer. Um, that's why I always recommend lunges, you know? Sometimes like online clients, I recommend lunges because I'm not gonna be there to watch the form, so I want it to be safe. So I do that. But lunges are really good. You're gonna feel the burn so much on those. Those are really good to build the hamstrings, the quads, and the booty. But if, you could do squats too. Um, the leg press is also really good for the thighs. Um, they don't work out the glutes as much, but if you're, if you're looking for thighs, growing bigger legs, squats, leg press, lunges are really good. Anyway, talking about with the meals. Um, carbs, you also have to eat enough carbs to grow the booty, to grow the legs. You know, those are muscles. They're gonna demand more energy. But you have to be careful guys, you don't want to get, you don't want to eat too much where you start gaining body fat, you know? Like, you want to eat just enough. You have to find out what your metabolism is. Find it and then adjust your calories, your macros to that level. 
and you'll you'll notice you're gonna you're gonna see huge changes in three months six months if you keep it up guys stay consistent i promise you guys like if both those things are on point your meals and your workouts there's no way you're not gonna see any changes and the only reason people quit is because they work out so hard right they work out so hard and they don't see any changes after a month two months three months and it's because their their um their diet isn't on point they're not eating enough protein to gain muscle gain, gaining muscle burns body fat so you know you're trying to lose weight you have to eat enough protein and it's just like frustrating for me because i see people quit so easily guys you have to challenge yourself guys challenge yourself in every area your meals your workouts okay i'm i feel like i'm gonna go on a rant here so i'll just stop this video short because i just wanted to get those wait wait there's one more thing People ask me if working out just the lower body and not working out the upper body is good. Um, if all you care about is your your um, butt and your legs, then go for it. But and if you want like your fat on your arms, I don't care. Then you don't have to do arms. But if you do care and you want nice arms, nice upper body, nice abs, you have to work out abs, um, abs and your arms. You can't just work out your legs because eventually over time you're gonna start losing muscle on your arms. And they're gonna start getting flabby and then you're gonna be like oh then i gotta start working on my arms now to get rid of the fat instead of working out your arms now that you don't have any fat and just keeping them toned so yeah it's important that you guys work out your upper body especially because you want to be strong you know you women you want to be strong you men you want to be strong you don't want to just have a strong lower body and then like piece of freaking weakling up here you know you you want if you want to do push-ups go for it you want to be able to do push-ups you know Seeing a woman do push-ups, pull-ups, that's cool. That's sexy. Strong is the new sexy, women. I love you guys. Peace.